The first time a Connor model was used in real life conditions was part of the investigation on deviance, which is what's going on in the story right now. No date has been given regarding its use by police forces on a larger scale. That doesn't bode well for how this turns out. Unless that updates after you beat the game. Betting not, though. Good morning, Chloe. Oops. I think your saved game is corrupted. Don't bullshit me. Just kidding. I knew. Yeah, I, I, I'm on to you. I'm on to you. It's weird that you can make your LED actually turn the color that you're pretending to behave like, though. I'll give you that. Still freaky. Let's go! We're heading into a Marcus mission now. Uh, the last mission that we played was with Kara, Alice, and Luther. I have Luther. Um, where we got to turn on the carousel and let Alice take a ride for a while, which was really nice. It was a really nice change of pace, and it was just kind of a moment of, ha, ah, oh, we're not going back to Marcus. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to give him a pep talk. Get now. Just making sure everything's going. All right. I'm gonna. Th this is my moment, right? This is when I'm gonna have to, like, actually confront. Cause, cause, okay. Cause, like, seriously, I tried twice on approaching him on the subject of his anti-androidisms. He's not willing to tell me. But I found the picture of his son Cole on the table next to where he passed out drunk with a gun in his hand. He's keeping it bottled up inside, pun slightly intended because he's an alcoholic, <laughs> um, and it's obviously not doing him any good. He needs to tell somebody. And I'm gonna get him to tell me. That's what I'm gonna do. Brief. Okay, so I can go talk to Hank. Something I can do. Is that a magazine? It's really weird playing this game again, because again, it's been like three weeks. Look at it, you can see the snow landing in my hair and on my coat. That's so cool. I love this. I love the, the dynamic weatherness on me so much. What happened to the man of the century? The mysterious Mr. Kemsky. Politics in focus. Are American senators really corrupt? Did it really take us 20 years to figure that question out? <laughs> China earthquake kills 10,000 people. We, we saw that on a previous magazine. Oh, oops. Nope, sorry. Markets predict war. That, that's the next magazine. I want to read this one. There we go. See? I'm all, I'm all messed up. It's been a while. What happened to the man of the century? In 2028, which was 10 years ago by this point, Elijah Kamsky was our man of the century. His creations have transformed our world. Oh, androids didn't just revolutionize the economy, did they though? They changed the way we live, restructured our family life, and altered the balance of society forever, whether good or bad. I wouldn't say revolutionize the economy. I feel like they could help if the economy were to evolve with the inclusion of androids in our society, but it obviously hasn't if the employment unemployment rate is 35%. So Elijah Kamsky, I'm assuming, founded Cyberlife. He's like the Ted Farrow uh, of, of, of Detroit. <laughs> Ted Farrow being from Horizon Zero Dawn. I won't spoil that if you haven't played the game because it's such a good game. But yeah, Ted Farrow is a name you'll want to keep in mind. Uh, shortly after, Kamsky had disappeared, ousted as CEO of Cyberlife, Okay, and living in obscurity outside the media glare, the man of the century has left the very world that he recreated. Kemsky's story <clears throat> begins in 2018. Hey! <laughs> when commercial property in Detroit was cheap and attracting many startups, the college graduate bet what little he had on developing an Android prototype and spent years to no avail until hitting on two breakthroughs, blue blood and biocomponents liquid cooling for the most powerful computers. <laughs> After unveiling his first working model, which publicly passed face-to-face -face Turing tests and stunned the world. For those of you that don't know, um, the only Detroit short video, short film, whatever, that I did watch prior to this game's release was the one with Chloe, where she was being interviewed on TV about her being the first android to pass the Turing test. If it can successfully convince people that it is human, then it passes. That's the Turing test, and it's freaky as shit. But anyway, that's what that is for those of you that didn't know. Uh, let's see. 
Plans were laid for mass production and CyberLife rapidly became the most valuable stock in the world. Yet at the peak of CyberLife's powers, when the company was approaching a $500 billion valuation, good lord, rumors emerged that Kamsky disagreed with his shareholders over strategy. He later departed under mysterious circumstances. So is this not what he wanted with androids? He wanted to keep it a little more on the down low so they didn't overtake people's jobs? Maybe? Today, sources claim Kamsky is living in a luxurious villa by the water somewhere on the outskirts of his beloved Detroit, refusing all visitors and spending his time exclusively with androids. And the most interesting question remains unanswered. What's in the mind of the mysterious Mr. Kamsky? That's weird. I think he's genuinely ashamed. He, he, he's proud of his creations. You know, androids are, they're, they're fucking awesome, let's be honest. A guy who holds, him, holds himself up with his own creations and refuses visitors sounds like someone who's ashamed. Market predict, markets predict war. Stock exchange falls 10% on fear of Arctic conflict. President Warren at 33% approval. Wow, that's even lower than you know who. Cyberlife world's first trillion dollar company. Yes, we are well aware of this. The aggregated U.S. stock exchange closed trading 10 points down yesterday following a string of similarly poor performances in recent weeks. Financial experts are attributing this poor performance to huge devaluations of consumer stocks as the market continues to bet that America will go to war over the Arctic sooner rather than later. This assessment is supported by healthy performance of military stocks, of course, with aviation and weapons manufacturers enjoying unprecedented growth. Wow. This is obviously a very thought-provoking game that brings a lot of real-world problems to our attention. Hi, Jacob. Um, but... I don't want to start political arguments with you. We are here to play games and have fun. <laughs> I say in the Russian accent for some reason. I don't know. But anyway, let's see. Uh, investors are also continuing to favor CyberLife because of its partnership with the Department of Defense to develop and supply military androids. I did know that was a thing. With Russia and the United States continuing to dominate world news and neither side likely to back down, nothing's changed in 20 years, I see, the market is expected to continue falling. Awesome! That's less than cheerful. So, Elijah Kemsky invented the first android. That's pretty cool. It's good to know. That's a big bridge. So where are we? We must be on, like, I mean, I don't, I don't know the layout of Detroit, okay? I mean, I'm assuming this is one of the Great Lakes here, but I don't fucking know. Why would I know? I've never lived there. Never been to Michigan, actually. He's having a bad day. Nice view, huh? Beautiful. I used to come here a lot before. Before coal. Okay. Before what? I mean, I know. Mm -hmm. but... You said... I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before... He looks so sad. Before nothing. Dude, you gotta tell me. Come on, you gotta tell me. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions? Or is it just you? When they send something wrong. Photo. Photo. I saw a photo of a child on your kitchen table. Oh, for it fuck's son, sake! Right? Come on! Yeah. His name was Cole. Really? We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Over the course well, of there nine months. There must be some link. Well, RA9, yes. What they have in common is this obsession with RA9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. It's not, it, it, that, not what it is, is it? Coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. 
Oh, obviously. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Oh, that. Those two girls. They just wanted to be together. Mm -hmm. They really seemed Human. in love. Um. They can simulate human emotions, but they're machines. And machines don't feel anything. Well, that's... What about you, Connor? What about me? He's actually asking you about me. You look human. You sound human. But what are you really? Uh... Defensive? You know exactly what I am. In any case, I don't see how that's relevant to the investigation. You could have shot those two girls, but you didn't. Yeah. Why didn't you shoot, Connor? Hey! Some scruple suddenly enter into your program? I... 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 I would have shot them if I could. What the fuck?! Why that's not what I'm telling him to say! But are you afraid to die, Connor? Yes! Yes! I would certainly find it regrettable to be interrupted before I can finish this investigation. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? I... I... Where does all your anger come from, Lieutenant? Some... Unresolved trauma in your past? Obviously! You think you're so fucking smart. Always one step ahead, huh? Tell me this, smart ass. How do I know you're not a deviant? Oh shit. I self test regularly. I know what I am and what I am not. <sighs> No! Where are you going? To get drunker. I need to think. Oh no! I unlocked a specific path because he's tense! Could he have killed me just then? I saw the photo, I discussed the photo! That thing that was apparently so important that I found? I talked to him about it and he didn't like it. He's supposed to draw his gun on me. I think he's supposed to get mad at me again. That's not fair. Come on, I'm trying to fix this and the game won't let me. I showed fear. Hank is placated and he left me alone. What does that mean again? I don't remember, I don't remember what placated means. Placated, whatever. I still have an hour for my video. To, I'm uploading the demo to the persistence right now to uh, to to date this this cluster of Detroit videos here, where I'm fittingly wearing a shirt that says "Keep calm, I got this." <laughs> Make someone less angry or hostile. That's what placate means. Okay, I think he could have totally shot me. He could have totally killed me there. So I think that was good. But now he's tense again. Come on, yo. Like, really? That software instability went way down when I chose to leave him down to tents. Then it went way back up after I spared those girls. Then it went down an itty bitty bit and now I'm back to tents again? The fuck, game? God damn it. Whatever, let, let's just keep going. November 7th. Oh, here we go. Now we're back to Marcus. It's putting in little itty bitty Connor missions in between everything that's throwing me off. Oh dude, that's John. It's John. And whatever your name is, I've seen you everywhere. You Pick them up and make it snap. Stratford Tower. Oh. 
What are you looking at, you weirdo? Uh-oh. Oh no! We can't stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. Mm. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. He's not wrong. But... What do you want to do? Humans don't learn. Oh, Channel shit. 16 broadcasts from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. Dude, this is like freaking Mission Impossible now. <laughs> well, don't I look snappy? We'll plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to change. Oh, sweet. 47th floor. Request access at reception. I'm gonna fuck this up. I'm gonna fuck everything up. Oh, God. So wait, what, what do I- do I- do I get in line, or do I- High-speed elevators. Floor 4750. Belong to them, okay. Business and legal. Floor 47, high-speed elevators, fastest in Detroit. 30 miles an hour on an elevator? That's actually kind of scary. Dude, you're the same reception model at the police station. You both Hello, are. Sir. What can I do for you? I'm okay, thanks. Distract human supervisor. Oh, I see. Okay. <clears throat> well, how do I distract him? Uh, this is all I, all I can do is go up to him, so... Oh, here we go. Clues. Smartwatch. Oh, I can call her number. Okay. Emily Wilson. Daughter. I mean, that's, that's also good. She's at work, though. She might want to take the call. I don't want to end up accidentally threatening her kid, because that would suck. Born March 25th, 1999. Still got two more to find here. Um, oh, here we go. Water service. Home address. Fire safety rating poor. Am I gonna call and say there's a, ha there's a fire at your house? You need to go? Oh, that's so mean. Okay, hold on. Car registration. Okay, well, she's got a car so she can leave and be back quickly. I'm assuming the higher the number is, the, the, the higher access you have. Okay, well, oh. Call. Elizabeth Wilson speaking. Parking school, fire department. Um, fire department. Yeah, hello, this is Detroit Fire Department. Let's look at 4685 Michigan Street. Yes. Uh, yes, ma'am. There's been a fire in your building. You can come down here. Oh. Oh, God. Okay, uh, I'll be right back. I don't want to get her kid involved. That's just dirty and mean. Okay. Hello, madam. I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Y uh, yes, yes, of course. Do I, though? I need your help. Oh, I made her deviant. Is Marcus the only one that can do that? I've just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks. After the security gate. Okay, thank you. Well, the metal detectors are gonna go off because that's literally all I'm made out of! Okay. So is Marcus the only one that has the Midas touch? Probably. Nature, sports, news, kids, I don't care. Whatever. Wait, what? Call! So what- how did I get my ability to do that? 
As far as I can tell, other androids don't do that. I, uh, Connor was gravity grabbing a bunch of people at, at, the, at the Eden Club, which sounds weird. But, and none of them went deviant. I just probed their memory. Well, that was easier than I expected. Okay. Find package in the men's bathroom. 